welcome back to my channel. It has been weeks since I have filmed um, because I've been keeping a secret from you. I'm pregnant with our second baby and we are so, so excited. And I cannot keep a secret. I knew I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut about it. So I haven't filmed because I was scared of letting it slip, but I did kind of hint that we were kind of talking about adding to our family in my or guest room revamp video. I was like, oh, eventually we're hoping this will be Holly's room. Uh, well, here we go. I will film kind of like a life update video uh, coming up after this one, but I wanted to get this one up because I've gone to the doctor, everything is healthy, everything's growing the way that it should, everything's going great. And I just wanted that confirmation that everything was going fine before I announced it here on my channel. So I am pregnant with our second little one. As I said, I'm so excited. I'm due November 15th. I am currently a little over 10 weeks. I'm already showing a lot, which is another reason I wanted to make this video because we're going racing this weekend and I wanted to vlog, but there's no hiding the baby bump at this point. Um, I felt pretty okay so far. Um, the nausea has been pretty intense. Um, I did have morning sickness with Holly. It was not as bad as it has been with this one. I haven't actually been getting sick. It's just that constant like nausea, morning sickness stuff. So I did actually reach out to my doctor and they gave me some prescriptions for it. I'm not gonna say on here what they are because some of it is over the counter. And I feel that you should definitely talk to your doctor before you start taking anything like that. So I don't want to be on here like, oh, they gave me X, Y, and Z for my morning sickness. I feel way better. And someone like go get it and not talk to their doctor. And then something happens or some kind of issue occurs or something like that. So I did get some prescriptions. This was planned. That's another point I wanted to mention. This baby was planned. We were trying it took one try, unlike with Holly, we were very surprised that it only took one try. So we were kind of in shock a little bit. Everything was fine with Holly. We had no complications. We had a very standard textbook pregnancy, if you will. So um, we weren't super concerned that something wouldn't be right, but you never know. You honestly never know. And I've had a lot more anxiety with this pregnancy because it did happen so fast. And I mean, even though it's our second one, like I feel like that, that initial pregnancy anxiety never goes away. You know, you're just, until you go to that first doctor's appointment, which isn't until eight weeks, you know, you just have that, that unknown going on. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if everything looks okay, is growing okay. Um, so, but we did go to the doctor. They said, everything's fine. The ultrasounds all look great. I'll insert some videos at the end here of the ultrasound that we got, a couple of pictures of the ultrasound. And um, I'll go ahead and show you my baby bump too, since there's no hiding it at this point. I feel four months pregnant and I'm two, <laughs> almost three, which makes me feel a little bit better. But we did do the genetic testing. I actually went in yesterday and got the blood work done for that. So I am hoping to know next week what baby is. I will let you guys know what it is because again, I'm horrible at keeping secrets. Um, we have announced this pregnancy to all of our friends and family. All of our, our people know, I guess, but like I said, I wanted to wait and make sure everything was okay before I put it out on my channel. So now that the cat's out of the bag, I thought I would talk about just a couple things that have been helping me through. Um, the beginning of my pregnancy, first trimester, if you will, um, this water bottle has been a lifesaver. I do not drink enough water, period, like in everyday life. So when I got pregnant, my sweet, sweet mother-in-law, Anna, if you're watching this, thank you so much. She got me this water bottle and it has the times on it. The spout on it is really nice. It has a lock on it. Holly can play with it and it not spill everywhere. So that was a big thing because other water bottles she would dump over if I had them out. So I would put them out of sight, out of mind, and then I just wouldn't drink enough water. So I will link all the things that I mentioned below. Um, I'm just gonna mention a couple things, but this water bottle has been number one lifesaver. 
and like I said, you can tip it upside down. I've dropped it quite a few times. It's got a lock on the opening and it doesn't have a straw, which I like. It has a spout, but it has a little hole on it so you can suck through it like a straw, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, but definitely I have that water bottle with me at all times. Uh, the prenatal I'm taking is this Horbach prenatal multi with DHA for women before, during, and after pregnancy. I got this off of Amazon, honestly, because it had the DHA and it didn't cost an arm and a leg. I feel that like <laughs> everything is going up right now price wise, but prenatals I noticed definitely went up in price. So I do like to get a prenatal with DHA. They taste gross, but the DHA is really good for brain development. So if I do, especially like during pregnancy, not so much after pregnancy, um, but during pregnancy, I really like to make sure that there's DHA in there. I think this bottle was around $15, $16. When I bought it, it's 180 soft gels, um, no GMO, uh, no gluten, wheat, yeast, milk, lactose, soy, artificial flavor, artificial sweeteners, or preservatives. Honestly, I wasn't looking at any of that stuff. I was looking for something with a good price point and that had the DHA. So this was the winner for me. I will also link this below. And then my lifesaver, literally no pun intended. I just thought of that, but my lifesaver for the morning sickness kind of going throughout the day has been these lifesaver, just hard, uh, like mint candies. Um, whenever I get like a wave of nausea, set that down because the bag's really loud. Whenever I get like that wave of nausea where I just am not feeling great, pop one of those in and it usually helps that subside. But I will say I have noticed with my previous pregnancy and with this one, if you prevent yourself from having an empty stomach or getting hungry, the nausea is a lot less intense. So if you like have a snack every couple hours, whether it just be a granola bar, a piece of fruit, some kind of something, crackers, I've eaten a lot of crackers in the past couple months, guys. Crackers have been a big one because again, sometimes that morning sickness, it just gets you and you just can't stomach to eat anything. So that's everything I'm gonna mention. Like I said, just a couple things because there's a million things out there. There's all kinds of videos out there that you can look for, for like things to help with your first trimester, what have, or must haves, like all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna do all that. Those are just the three main things like if you're pregnant, I would suggest having a good water bottle, something to help with the nausea, and a good prenatal. Hey guys, so it wouldn't be a real life re video if my camera didn't die in the middle of filming, but um, I digress anyways, I was kind of rambling, but I will show you a little belly shot before um, the end of this, but thank you guys so much for watching. I have been so excited and so anxious to tell you guys about this pregnancy and for our sweet, sweet baby. We are so excited. We're over the moon. I will be doing a out of breath. That's another symptom of pregnancy. Also, I was just playing with my neck, so don't freak out. It's not a skin condition. Um, I will upload a life update video because a lot of things have changed around the house. A lot of things are new and just things have been happening in our life the past couple weeks. So um, that will be coming up very soon. Keep on the lookout for that. But thank you guys so much for watching and we are just so blessed for this little one and we are so excited. But I'll see you guys really soon in our next video. Bye guys. Okay, here baby is in all their glory. I can't wait to find out what it is so I can say he or she, but this is my a little over 10 week belly. It feels like 20 weeks. Um, it definitely popped out a lot sooner than um, it did with Holly, but here is our sweet little babe. We are so, so excited to meet you and love you and all the things. So here's our little baby bump for you guys. I told you I'd give you a little bump shot. So there you go. And baby's heart rate right now is 184. Hmm.